So in this video, uh, we've got another bipartite graph where we've got four workers, A, B, C, D, but this time we've got one too many jobs. We've got jobs one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so in this we're not going to be able to find a complete matching. One of the jobs is going to go undone. However, we will be able to find a maximal matching. Okay, so we could do that one by eye, right? You'd be able to do that one by eye, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to write that problem as a linear programming problem. So, first of all, we want to maximize and we want to have the sum of all of the edges. So, we've got A2 plus A4 plus B1 plus B3 plus c4 plus d1 plus d4 plus d5. Subject to, now we want to make sure that each of the workers only do one of the jobs. So worker A uh, can either do job 2 or job 4 and we want only at least, well sorry, at most one of those to be uh, completed. Okay, so that's got to be less than or equal to one. For worker B, uh, we've got B1 plus B3, and that's got to be less than or equal to one. For worker C, we've got C4, and that's got to be less than or equal to one. And then for D, uh, we've got D1 plus D4 plus D5, and that's got to be less than or equal to one. So that restricts each of the workers to doing at most one of the jobs. Right, but then we need to put a restriction on we only want each of the jobs to be done by one person. Okay, um, so for job one, we've got B1 plus D1. So B and D, those two workers can do job one, but I only want one of them to do job one, so that's got to be less than or equal to one. Now for job two, only A can do job two, so that's got to be less than or equal to one. There's only one worker that can do job three, so B3 has got to be less than or equal to one. For job four, we can either have A or C or D, so that's got to be less than or equal to 1. And for job 5, there's only one worker that can do that, so that's got to be less than or equal to 1 as well. And so this is my linear programming problem.